Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Mainframe Tutorial, Bill Barwan Programming. Okay, so today's topic would be like select statements. So, so this is also one of the control statements. So, so far different control statements you have seen like if, iterative if, uh, sorry, if and else nested if statements and you have seen multiple do statements like do, simple do, do until, do while and iterative do so. Now we are going to see the select statements so as uh, when is select statement is used as you have as you all know like if statement is one of the control statements where you would be checking for some specific conditions and uh, if that condition is satisfied or true or false though based on the conditions you would be uh, taking some actions or you would be processing some statements okay in the same way uh, I mean if, if there are multiple conditions so you might be using multiple as if find uh, uh, you'll be writing the statement so if the if if else is fine if there is a 5 or 10 statements so if the, if you have more than 10 statements or or more than 5 statements so your if else logic could become complex and the number of lines of code could be increasing and it's it make a little bit confusion over there right we can use it but we have to be careful so the other alternate way is uh, used with the select statement so the select statement provides a practical a uh, practical alternative to coding the case structure in which a large number of alternative must be evaluated similar to evaluate in COBOL so we are going to use this in, and in COBOL you are uh, you'll be writing like evaluate uh, some condition and you would be evaluate true then when uh, some action and so on like end evaluate right so in the same way in place of evaluate you'll be writing select here okay select and an optional uh, optional expression uh, this uh, expression is an optional whereas in evaluate you'll be writing to true or some conditions right uh, some expression you'll be writing so in pl baron programming it is not needed so you have to give it you have to specify it select option expression then one uh, set of conditions if the condition is specified take this action if condition two is actually take this action or execute the number of statements if any of the condition is not satisfied you have other keyword called otherwise and in that case what is the action you can do so and it's always end with the end statement so this is how a simple evaluate works and its syntax now let's see some example uh, example on select statement if something you have something like ship code or something so you have a market codes or anything so I want to select uh, I want to check the conditions look select ship code when 110 call ABC when 120 so these are the different codes we have uh, assuming that we have some country codes or street codes or street codes okay some based on the uh, street codes or so country codes I wanted to take some actions or I wanted to use it uh, use uh, use particular statements or if country code is one okay country code is one call USA country code is nine one call India and UK so each country is having different codes right so based on the country codes you can call different programs I mean that is actually depends on the business logic you are having so you can use this select condition why because it we are expected to have a multiple conditions and then based on multiple conditions so we are going to take a specific action okay so this is the simple examples otherwise you will sell you will tell it as a call error program so it should satisfy with some conditions right if it's not satisfying uh, so it, it means that it's error or you might have entered a wrong value okay so it's always done with the end statement so other it is like select you can use a simple select so here you are giving some ship code and when 110 you are passing some parameter here so here you can see you are not passing any of the parameters that is argument is not passed so this is one way of selecting a select statements and this is other way of selecting a select statement so select when balance is less than zero call negative balance report and when balance equal to zero call zero balance report okay when balance is greater than zero call balance report otherwise call error report so and it will always end with the end statement so that's how a select statement works and very important command very important control statements so so that's how uh, these this uh, uh, 
I would like to end with the control statements and I would be coming up with different topics on PLBAR1 programming. So, so far you have seen a couple of videos on PLBAR1 programming language, right? So, we have seen how do we declare a variables, what are the different kinds of data types we have, how do we write a simple procedure programs and what are when uh, different kinds of control statements, what is put list, get list, that is nothing but accept and display same like COBOL programming language and you know the procedure of writing a co uh, PLBAR1 programming language. So, just what you do is write write a different different programs making use of this declare first you try to try to start a statement with the procedure then try to declare a variables and then pass some values to that variables and uh, use some control statements like if else do do while do until and select statements and uh, try to execute that program and see the results so this is the best way to practice of any kind of programming language so i hope you would be practicing these things and uh, so that's all so I would be coming up with more more and more videos and different uh, topics in PL bar 1 programming language so stay tuned to YouTube channel on mainframe tutorials so if you like this video can you please subscribe share or comment on my YouTube channel so always sharing the knowledge will help everyone a lot right so thank you so much have a great and pleasurable day or an evening